हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू प्रथम टेस्ट प्रेप आई एम आशीष भार्गव एंड दिस क्लास इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज द इंटायर मंथ करंट अफेयर्स विद एम सी क्यूज वी डिस्कस अबाउट डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द हिंदू एंड इंडियन एक्सप्रेस द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी सो यू कैन डू रिविजन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एम सी क्यू दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज एज वी नो दैट करंट अफेयर्स प्लेइंग वेरी क्रूशियल रोल इन योर एग्जामिनेशन and one more thing that we need to keep in mind if you are new in this channel please subscribe the channel as well and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification of our all pratham test prep mentors moving to the next one six ways to balance competitive and board exam preparation here is objective execution so basically do not ignore to school to focus on competitive exams take up test series frequent tests so you need to balance the your board also that is also important and your upcoming exam is also important and elimination methods so at the end whatever the information you have gathered try to do one thing just try to eliminate as many way options as you can using your pre existing knowledge base so one thing that if you eliminate one you have 33% chance of getting it correct if you eliminate two you have 50% chance if you eliminate three you have 100% chance of getting it correct just try to eliminate at least one option so that if there is a four options is there so there is a possibility that you will solve able to solve the questions right and now here is practice makes a man perfect and the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is the practice now moving to the very very first question is here and virasat is a dash option 1 option a marriage festival option b pilgrimage tour and c spiritual discourse course or sacred gathering and d none of the above we have discussed this one in newspaper analysis in the month of january so i expecting all of you guys that you will give the correct answer so your time starts now try to solve the questions that virasat is what if you are not sure about the answer but do not try to lose your confidence try to attempt that discussion at least jab tak attempt nahi nahi karoge how you will got to know ki tumne kaise solve karna hai at least try karo ki kya ho sakta hai iska answer theek hai so don't think ki yaar ye iske ye to maine kabhi study nahi kara hai bahut tough questions and all because this things will not work at all exam mein bhi aapko risk attitude aapko lena padega so similarly here is that at least try to do so option d is the right answer the ministry of textiles is organizing the festival second phase of sari festival virasat and the social media campa- campaign has been launched under the common hashtag my sari my pride to support our handloom weavers coinciding with the 75 years of independence azadi ka amrit mahotsav there will be an exhibition come sale of handloom sarees by 75 handloom weavers and what are the source of this news paper as we can see the ministry of textile second january ka news hai from directly from the pib press information bureau Second phase of Sari festival Virasat celebrating 75 hand woven sarees of Indian begins tomorrow and the traditional weavers to exhibit and sell handcraft varieties of sarees at Handloom Heart Janpat so ministry of textiles is organizing the festival this one now moving to the next one here it is Shumang Leela is the traditional form of theater celebrated in which form of which of the following states Bihar Assam Manipur Rajasthan I request to everyone try to attempt the questions answer whether you know or don't know that's not an issue at all and here is a subscriber mode on which means that ki jab tak until unless you will not subscribe you will not able to solve in the questions in the live chat so try to attempt the questions answer that would be very beneficial for you guys because this is very very important that kind of questions that is we can say possible to ask in your exam also so try to attempt whether you know or don't know at least you have an idea that how we need to practice to solve the questions right so koshish karo ki jo bhi questions hote hain usko aap solve karne ki koshish karo at least aapko ek fair idea hoga so answer is here c manipur so shumang leela is a traditional form of theater in manipur where the roles of women are all played by men called Nupi Shabis. In the case of women's theatre group, the roles of men are played by women. Shumang Lila ki baat karein to Shumang means open courtyard and Lila means play and literal meaning of Shumang Lila is a play of the open courtyard. 
एंड इसकी ओरिजिन कहाँ से हुई इट स्टार्टेड एज अ कॉमिक जीनर प्रजेंटेड बिफोर द किंग्स एंड नोबल मैन विच अल्टीमेटली डेवलप्ड इन टू द प्रजेंट फॉर्म ऑफ कॉर्ट यार इन एक्टेड प्ले वैल्यूज द थिएटर फ्राम फॉर्म शोज इट अटैम्प्स टू प्रिजर्व एंड प्रमोट ह्यूमैनिज्म ब्रदरहुड टॉलरेंस कॉन्फिडेंस डिवोशन थ्रूथ एंड जस्टिस थ्रू इट्स परफॉर्मेंस नाउ मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन here that we have taken from this manipur traditional theater from form of shumang leela has continued to inform and entertain down the it is january 29 ki article see the hindu king as you can see shumang leela is a traditional form of theater in manipur where the roles of women are all played by men called nupushabdis so the direct source is from the the hindu the hornbill festival is celebrated in which state of india karnataka सिक्किम ओडिशा नागालैंड सो डी इज द राइट आंसर Hornbill festival is celebrated to encourage inter-tribal interaction and to promote the cultural heritage of Nagaland and government of Nagaland organizes the Hornbill festival every year the first week of December as we can see the article here vice president inaugurated the third edition of Hornbill festival vp says india is a land of culture and indian indians are proud to their tribal culture vice president praises nagaland to for lower crime against women in the country and who is our vice president jagdeep dhankar today inaugurated 23rd edition of hornbill festival at naga heritage village kisama near the state capital kohima and the vice president sounded the inauguration gong along the governor and chief minister of nagaland to de declare the festival of festivals open so hornbill festival that is celebrated in the place of Nagaland fourth one golden globe awards it was started 1995 and is given by the hollywood fun press association annually for american international film and television this award is considered an important precursor to the oscars no indian movie has won a golden globe award till date which of the statements given above is our correct one One and two, three. One and three. One, two, and three. okay so the we can say the answer would be here first one is we cannot expect that this one is right answer so c is the right answer it was started in 1944 and is given by the hollywood foreign press association it is seven members annually for the american and international film and television the award is considered an important precursor of the oscars ss rajamouli rrr triple r wins best original song for natu natu and the composer mm kirwani along with the singers kala bhairwa and rahul sipli ganj has won the golden globe for best original song for the track natu natu which became an anthem of sorts for fans of director ss rajamouli's triple r the historical epic has also been nominated in the best non english language film category in the 80th golden globe award so award is very important when the any indian movie got some kind of award so you need to keep in mind 
Now, as we can see, this article is extracted from January 12th, the Indian Express Golden Globe 2023, SS Raja Molly Triple R wins best original song for Natu Natu. So I hope this one is clear for everyone. Seventh one. Shritunjai Hill, a holy site for Jains, which was recently in news, is located in Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh. Okay, so Shritunjai Hills, that was somewhere in the Gujarat we have discussed in the newspaper analysis. C is the right answer. So members of Jain community have been staging protests in Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and New Delhi for the past two weeks over demand related to two holy sites, Samad Shikhar or Parsanath Hill in Jharkhand and Shritunjai Hill in Palitana of Gujarat. And the Jains are demanding the Shritunjai hills and the area around it be protected as the maintain its holiness. Moving to the next one, as we can see, the article is taken on January 4th from the Indian Express. Jain community protest, what are the issues linked of to Jharkhand Gujarat shrines? So this is directly from the newspaper. So if you will able to solve, that would be very good for you. That no need to revise it. Right? Chalo. DZ Yatra is an initiative of Niti Aayog, Ministry of Culture, Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of Civil Aviation. D is the right answer. DZ Yatra is a project conceived to achieve contactless, seamless processing of passengers at airports based on facial recognition technology FRD that was launched by the Ministry of Civil Aviation. DZ Yatra Foundation, a not-for-profit company, is a nodal body of DZ Yatra. It is a joint venture with AI, 26% share, and five airports, Bial, Dial, Gyal, Mial, and Sial. DZ Yatra Foundation will be a pan-India entity and the custodian of the passenger's ID validation process. Next one. Exercise Agni Warrior, a bilateral exercise conducted between India and which country? So A is the right answer, 12th edition of exercise Agni Warrior, a bilateral exercise, bilateral which means both the country has involved between the Singapore and Indian Army, was recently concluded. Both sides utilize niche technology and artillery observation, simulators as a part of joint training phase and expert academic discussions were conducted of modern trends in artillery and the refinement of the artillery planning process. And the exercise achieved its aim of enhancing mutual understanding of drills and procedures and improving 
comparability between the two armies. Now, next is Sunni Dam project. Many times in the news, so Sunni Dam project is being executed on the which river? Ganga river, Satlaj, Mahanadi, Narmada. So, B is the right answer. Sunni Dam project, central government has approved the investment of 382 megawatt Sunni Dam hydroelectric project in Himachal Pradesh by SGVN Limited. It is a run of river project. It is a being executed on Satalas in Shimla and Mandir district and it would have a 71 meter high concrete gravity dam and six generating units in its surface powerhouse. Moving to the next one, new energy outlook report is published by WEF, IRENA, IEA, none of the above. So D is the right answer according to 2022 new energy outlook report by Bloomberg NEF it is still possible to keep the temperature increase to 1.77 degree Celsius with det determined action. The Kotia territory dispute is between the Odisha and Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Maharashtra, Maharashtra and Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. So as we can say, Odisha party's close rank, A is the right answer, field consensus candidate to protect village claimed by Andhra. So there are two state Odisha and Andhra and the article is taken from directly from the Indian Express. So we can say the answer would be here, A is the right answer, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. So that's why I'm telling you each and every time the newspaper is the best source of current affairs question. So if the any person, any student who are preparing for any exam, any competitive exams, if you are reading the newspaper diligently, then it will be possible to chance that if you in your exam, agar wo questions kitne bhi pooch le, aapko at least command hoti ke, there is somehow the guts feeling aati B, C, ya kuch bhi iske answers ho sakte hain. That's why I'm there is a newspaper analysis session at sharp 11:30 a.m. by Pratham Test Prep YouTube channel, right? Jello. Next one. Fifteenth, the Brazila declaration, which was sometimes seen in the news, is related to which of the following? Water pollution abatement, road safety, net zero emission target, women's right. Okay, so B is the right answer. Brazil declaration adopted at the second global high level conference on road safety held in Brazil lays down recommendation on strengthening existing legislation, adopting sustainable transport and strengthening the post crash response. In the declaration, participants reasserted their commitment to reducing the death caused due to traffic accident to half by the year 2022 global wage report is published by world trade organization united nation development program international labor organization and international monetary fund
see until unless you will not solve the questions so there is no benefit for just seeing the questions and at all right so try to at least attempt don't know agar wo tumhare se galat bhi ho rahe questions answer don't worry about it agar aap aaj galat karoge kal aap sahi karna seekh jaoge khud ba khud theek hai so do not you don't think about ye to humne kabhi class mein exam jab aapka jo main exam hoga us jab bhi aap dene jaoge once you are going to appear you will see there will there would be many questions over there which you have seen it first time so you are bound to solve that questions on that time kyunki agar aap attempt nahi karoge to by default aapne bahar jana hai you are out of the race so try to at least attempt the question so that would be very beneficial for you okay so global wage report that is published by c option ilo international labor organization recently published to report the global wage report 2020 2023 and asia pacific employment and social outlook that provides insight into the global employment scenario including wages following the pandemic moving to the 18th question with reference to lok adalat which of the following statement is correct so lok adalats have the jurisdiction to settle the matter at pre legislative litigative stage and not those matters pending before any court lok adalats have no jurisdiction in respect of any case or matter relating to an offence not compoundable under any law every lok adalat consists of either serving or retired judicial officers only and not any other persons none of the statement given above is correct one so the answer would be here b1 lok adalat is a forum which where the cases or disputes which are pending in a court or which are pre litigation stage not yet brought before a court are compromised or settled in an amicable manner and the institution of lok adalats has been given a statutory status under the legal service authorities act 1987 the lok adalats shall have no jurisdiction in respect of any case or matter relating to an offence not compoundable under any law in other words the offences which are non compoundable under any law fall outside the purview of lok adalats every lok adalats organized for an area shall consist of such number of serving or retired judicial officers and other persons of the area as may be specified by the agency organizing such lok adalat generally a lok adalat consist of judicial officers as the chairman and the lawyer advocate and a social worker as member 19 which of the following article of indian constitution gives every person the right to freedom of conscience and the right to freely profess practice and propagate religion subject to public order mortality morality and health 19 21 25 26 So C would be the right answer. Article twenty-five, the Supreme Court said it would examine real intention behind religious conversions through allurement by offering food, medicines, treatment, etc. In Article twenty-five, freedom of conscience and free profession, practice, and propagation of religion. The MHA has said that right to freedom of religion does not include a fundamental right to convert people to a particular religion. so the answer would be c option again the reference of lok adalats which are the following statement are correct so b is the right answer lok adalats is a forum where the cases or disputes which are pending in a court which are pre litigation stage next one Navtej Singh Johar versus other U versus Union of India. In this case, Supreme Court give important judgment related to freedom of religion, right to education, homosexuality, right to marriage.
सो द आंसर विल बी हियर सी ऑप्शन नवतेज सिंह जोहार वर्सेज ओरिजिन ऑफ इंडिया द सेक्रेटरी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लॉ एंड जस्टिस ट्वेंटी इज अ लैंडमार्क डिसीजन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट of india that is decriminalize all consensual sex among adults including homosexual sex open ai chat gpt is in what ai messenger robot chatbot malware do it fast so we can say charge gpt is a chatbot dekho kaise abhi recently ye charge gpt bahut news mein aayi open ai charge gpt is a controversial sorry conversational chatbot which can talk back almost as another human being would gpt stand for generative pre trained transformer <coughs> a kind of computer language model that relies on deep learning techniques to produce human like text based inputs once a user sign a chat gpt they can use a chatbot to have a conversation and it is expected to give reasonably intelligent answer in the form of an essay it is a neural network as a large network of computers can fine tune of its output of the word based on feedback and the chatbot can remember that the user said earlier in the conversation it allow it also allows users to follow up on corrections 23 the judges of supreme court are appointed so C is the right answer according to clause two, the Article one twenty four of the Indian Constitution. The President, with the consultation of Chief Justice of India, can appoint the judges of the Supreme Court. Such provision are the same for the appointment of judges of the High Court, where the President has to consult the Chief Justice of India, the Governor of the State, and Chief Justice of High Court. Twenty fourth, hunger hot hot spot hot spot ports outlook report is released by Food and Agriculture. organization world food program wpf international fund for agriculture development ifad both a and b d is the right answer hunger hot spot outlook a report by the food and agriculture organization of the united nations and world food program wfp next one the parliament can amend the constitution subjected to the limit of take your time 3 4 second and try to solve so b is the right answer basic structure doctrine if a law is found to damage or destroy the basic feature of the constitution the court declares it unconstitutional the test is applied to constitutional amendments to ensure the amendment does not dilute the fundamentals of the constitutional itself the test is widely regarded as a check on majoritarian impulse of the parliament since it replaces substantive limit on the power to amend the constitution 26 a judge on the of the supreme court can be removed from his office by an order of the president after an address by parliament has been presented to him in the same session for such removal supported by simple majority in each house of parliament approved by the presiding officer of the house special majority in the lok sabha only absolute majority in both houses of parliament special majority in both houses of parliament d is the right answer the president can issue the removal order only after an address by parliament has been presented to him in the same session for the such removal 
the address must be supported by an special majority of each house of parliament that is majority of total membership of the house of that house and majority of not less than two thirds of the members of the house present and voting and the ground kya hota removal ka to proved misbehavior or incapacity the judges inquiry act 1968 regulates the procedure relating to the removal of judges of supreme court by the process of impeachment 27 What is the main purpose of National Commission for Protection of Child Rights (NPCPR) product, product to, the, to protect the rights of children in India, to enforce laws related to child labor, to provide education and health care for children, and to promote adoption and foster care? so as we know a is the right answer ncpcr is a statutory body established under the commission for protection of child rights act 2005 and the main its main purpose is to monitor and ensure the protection of child rights in india including issues such as child abuse exploitation and neglect next one 28 recently which one of the following has launched a toolkit on enabling gender responsive urban mobility and public space in india un women united nation human settlement program world bank world economic forum so the answer would be c option world bank launched a toolkit on enabling gender responsive urban mobility and public space in india with the aim of suggesting ways to make public transport in indian cities more inclusive of women tra uh, women's traveling requirements next one with reference to isro navik consider the following statement it is designed with the constellation of seven satellites it covers india and a region extending of 1500 km around it navic based trackers are compulsory on commercial vehicles in india which is a statement is our correct word one and three two and three one only one two and three A is the right answer because Navik is designed with the constellation of seven satellite and network of ground station operating twenty four seven, and it covers the India and region extending to fifteen hundred kilometer. April two thousand nineteen, the Union Ministry of Road Transport and Highways made Navik based vehicle trackers. August twenty one, the DGCA updated the drones rules for India, under which it became mandatory to use made in India technology, including Navik also. What is Falcon nine recently in the news? Take almost five ten second, then need to solve. So the answer would be here, D option. Falcon 9 is a partially reusable medium lift launch vehicle that can carry cargo and crew into Earth orbit. Produced by American aerospace company SpaceX, the rocket has two stages. Next one, Glass Global Analysis and Assessment of Sanitation and Drinking Water Report is released by World Health Organization, World Economic Forum, World Bank, United Nations Development Program.
so the answer will be here a option a glass report released by who and un water provides the most up to date information of wash system in more than 120 countries making it biggest data collection ever considering the following statements regarding g20 grouping So G20 is a premier forum for international economic cooperation formed in backdrop of financial crisis in the late 1990s. Its aim was to secure global financial stability by involving middle income countries. All the BRIC countries are the members of G20. G20 was formed in 1999 in the backdrop of financial crisis of the late 1990s that hit East Asia and Southeast Asia in particular. Its aim was to secure global financial stability by involving middle income countries. Its prominent members are Australia, Brazil, China, France, Germany, India, Japan, Republic of Korea, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Turkey, the UK, the US and EU and Spain is invited as a permanent guest. 34. National pension scheme is administered by the Life Insurance Corporation, Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority, Reserve Bank of India, Niti Ayo. So, is Pension Fund Regulatory PFRDA is solely responsible body for administered by the National Pension Scheme. So, an NPS is a voluntary and long term retirement investment plan administered by the Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority PFRDA Ministry of Finance, Government of India. It was launched in January 2004 for governmental employees and it was decided to discontinue de defined benefit pension for all employees who joined after April 4, 2004. 35. Kolam, which became the first constitu constitution literate district in the India, is located in which state? Tamil Nadu, Kerala, West Bengal, Odisha. So the answer will be here, Kerala. Kulam became the first constitution literal district in India. Kerala Chief Minister Pinari Vijayan conferred the honor on the district. The citizen of constitution literacy campaign was jointly launched by the Kulam District Panchayat, District Planning Committee and the Kerala Institute of, Institute of Local Administration. Kerala is a part of campaign. Thousands of new literates were ed educated on Indian constitution. So this is what is Operation Greens later to. Enhancing biodiversity, tomato, onion and potato, all variety of seeds, climate change. So B is the right answer. Operation Greens seeks to stabilize the supply of tomato onion and potato crops and to ensure availability of top crops throughout the country around the year without price volatility. The scheme was extended during June 2020 to cover all fruits and vegetables total for the period of six months on pilot basis as part of Atnirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. The Ministry of Food Processing Industries has launched the scheme. NAFED will be the nodal agency to implement price stabilization measures.
वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक आउटलुक इज रिलीज बाय वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम वर्ल्ड बैंक इंटरनेशनल मॉनेटरी फंड डब्ल्यू टी ओ सो द आंसर इज सी ऑप्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू आई एम एफ वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक आउटलुक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सम ऑफ द मेजर स्टेप सेकेंड बाई इंडिया टू रिड्यूसिंग कार्बन इमिशन एंड मूविंग टूवर्ड्स एस डी जी विच मीन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स परमिटिंग एफ डी आई टू हंड्रेड परसेंट अंडर द ऑटोमेटिक रूट फॉर द रिनोवेबल एनर्जी प्रोजेक्ट एंड डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ ट्रांजेक्ट्री ट्रांजेक्ट्री ऑफ रिनोवेबल परसेज ऑब्लिगेशन अप टू द ईयर ट्वेंटी थर्टी द नेट जीरो टारगेट बाई टू थाउजेंड थर्टी बाई इंडियन रेलवेज अलोन विल लीड टू अ रिडक्शन ऑफ इमिशंस बाई सिक्सटी मिलियन टर्न्स एनुअली थर्टी एट अ लॉयर एंड स्टेटमेंट्स ही वॉज इंडियन ही वॉज ऑल्सो नोन एज आयरन मैन ऑफ इंडिया फॉर इज फ्यूअरलेस एटीट्यूड टू द रिकोगनाइजिंग इंडियाज पॉलिटिकल लैंडस्केप ही इज ट्रेडिशनली रेफर टू द पैट्रॉन सेंट ऑफ इंडिया पब्लिक सर्विसेज फॉर फाउंडिंग द मॉडर्न ऑल इंडिया सर्विसेज हु वॉज ही महात्मा गांधी सी राजा गोपालचारी जवाहरलाल नेहरू एंड सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल सो डी इज द राइट राइट आंसर सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल सरदार वल्लभ भाई झाड़े भाई जावेद भाई पटेल वॉज एन इंडियन अटॉर्नी एंड स्टेट्समैन he was a dedicated patriot a great administrator and loyal servant of the nation for his fearless approach to consolidate india's political map he has been dubbed as iron man of india and for establishing establishing contemporary all india services he is also known as patron saint of india's civil services 39 which of the following indian initiative has just been acknowledged by the un as one of the top world restoration flagships working to restore the natural world swachh bharat abhiyan dekho apna desh namami me gange ek bharat shrest bharat so the answer will be here swachh bharat abhiyan yes no c is the right answer un has recognized the namami gange initiative to rejuvenate river ganga as one of the top 10 world restoration flagship aimed at reviving the natural world during the function at 15th cop cop conference of parties to con convention of on biodiversity in montreal canada on world restoration day 14th of december the entries were selected under the united nation decade on ecosystem restoration 2021 2030 coordinated by unep and fao 40 parak which was seen in the which has been in the news is regulated or body related to which field tourism education ott platform online gaming so is a part of education so national council for education research and training ncert has notified india's first national assessment regulator parak it will work on setting norms standards and guidelines for student assessment and evaluation for all recognized school boards in the country and the education survey division of ncert new delhi will function as a parak in the initial initial phase and it will be extended across the country ashudhai was written by chanakya payani kalidas kumar vaisi so the answer will be here b option in his phd thesis cambridge a scholar a dr rishi rajput claims have to solve sanskrit sanskrit biggest puzzle a grammar problem found in ashudhai an ancient text written by the scholar panini in the 4th century bc significance is that expert are calling the discovery revolutionaries as it may <coughs> sorry allow panini grammar to be taught to computers for the first time the chairman of gst council in india is revenue secretary finance secretary home minister finance minister
so <coughs> d is the right answer it is an apex committee to modify reconcile of make recommendation to the union at a state on gst like the goods and services that may be subjected or exempted from gst model on article 279a of the indian constitution empowers the president of india to constitute a joint form of central and state called the gst council और जी एस टी काउंसिल को चेयर करते हैं यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर एंड अदर मेंबर्स आर द यूनियन स्टेट मिनिस्टर ऑफ रेवेन्यू और और फाइनेंस एंड मिनिस्टर्स इन चार्ज ऑफ फाइनेंस एंड टैक्सेशन ऑफ ऑल द स्टेट्स द टर्म बेस इरोजन एंड प्रॉफिट शिफ्टिंग इज समाइम्स सीन इन द न्यूज इन द कंटेक्सट ऑफ माइनिंग ऑपरेशन बाय मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज इन द रिसोर्स रिच बट बैकवर्ड एरियाज कविंग द टैक्स इविजन बाय मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज C option or D option. B is the right answer. Base erosion and profit shifting refers to tax planning strategy used by multinational enterprises that exploit gaps and mismatch in tax rules to avoid paying tax. Developing countries higher reliance on corporate income tax means they suffer from BPS disproportionately. Disproportionately, and BEPS practice costs countries USD one hundred to forty billion the lost revenue annually. Why is Bharat series registration mark introduced in India? BS six, BS four. You have seen many times in the news, and we discussed this one is a in newspaper analysis. Address the vehicle pollution. Prevent car registration theft to make the re-registration of the vehicle a hassle-free process. Increase the vehicle fitness. fees and penalties c is the right answer so government of india introduced the bh number plate of bharat series registration number for non transport vehicle in august 2021 and the bh series number plates removes the obligation of transferring vehicle registration after moving from one state to the another one 45 the constitution of india water is a matter included in which list as we know that the three list state state list center residue list and state list union list and concurrent list and the last one residue list so water is in part of which list is a part of state list In the constitution, what is the matter included in entry seventeen of list that is called state list? So here is the Parliament of India that is defined into the state, union, concurrent, and residue. Forty-seven, the principle of common but differentiated responsibility and respective capabilities often talked in media refers to what? is the right answer principle of common but differentiated responsibility and respective capabilities establishes the common responsibility of state for the protection of the global environment but in addition it also lays down different standards of conduct for developed and developing nations 48 which one of the following is the best description of ins murmugao that was in news recently amphibious warfare submarine nuclear power submarine still guided missile destroyers nuclear powered aircraft carrier only 10 to 12 questions are left now so try to attempt the questions C is the right answer. Indian naval ship INS Mormugao was commissioned recently. It is the second warship of 515B class of steel guided missile destroyer built by Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited, and it has been named after a key port in Goa, which was commissioned a day before the Goa Liberation Day celebration. 
semi automated offside technology recently seen in news is mainly used in cricket chess football tennis so c is the right answer fifa has implemented what they call semi automated offside technology this world cup according to fifa the new technology uses 12 dedicated trafficking sorry tracking cameras mounted underneath the roof of stadium to track the ball and up to 29 data point to each individual players 50 times per second calculating their exact position on the pitch the 29 collected data points include all limbs and extremities that are relevant for making offside calls 50 who among the following have the power to increase the retirement age of judges of high court and supreme court of india department of justice ministry of law and justice parliament is standing committee on personal public grievances law and justice parliament supreme court collegium C is right answer. Supreme Court judges retire at the age of sixty-five years, and judges of twenty-five high courts in the country retire at the sixty-two years. And the one-day Fourth Amendment bill was introduced in two thousand ten to increase the retirement age of high court judges to sixty-five years. However, it was not taken up for the consideration in Parliament and lapsed with the dissolution in the of the fifteenth Lok Sabha. Fifty-one. The E Trade right Station certification was awarded by Bureau of Indian Standards, Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, Quality Council of India, and above. Fifty-two. Okay, so that is called option B. The E Trade Station certification is awarded by FSI to railway station that set benchmark in providing safe and wholesome food to passengers. The Apex Food Regulatory Body comes under the Ministry of Health and Family Family Welfare. Fifty two. Mark Portal is an initiative of the National Highway Authority of India, Reserve Bank of India, Department of Prom Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Niti Aayog. so is a option c commerce and industry minister will launch a mark platform mentorship advisory assistance resilience and growth to facilitate mentorship between startups and entrepreneurs across sectors stages and functions the government will also recognize the startups through the national startup award the previous version of 2020 and 2021 had recognized 367 startups as a winners and finalist next one 55 Only nine questions are left. Which country population has declined for the first time in sixty-one years with the fall of roughly eight lakh fifty thousand? Which country has the first time population declined? Be India, China, Indonesia, Pakistan. So obvious B option is correct one. China. So China population has declined for the first time in sixty-one years. Statistics released by the National Bureau. Of a statistic, MBS. The gap between the most populous country in the world and India, which is second most populous, has narrowed to less than 40 million four crore people. The country's population earlier that witnessed a decline in 1960 under Mao Zedong leadership during the Great Chinese Famines. Which country has unveiled one of the world's strictest anti-tobacco laws? Mexico, Finland, Germany, France.
so a is the right answer mexico has brought into force into one of the world's strictest anti tobacco laws by enacting a total ban on smoking in public places the step was first approved in 2021 it also included a ban on tobacco advertising several other latin american countries have also passed legislation to create a smoke free public space mexico existing upon eight law which create a smoke free space in bars restaurants and workplace is now extended to outright ban in all public spaces similarly in goa the beer has been banned recently beer ko ban kar diya goa mein because that giving to the bad message to the society and the public as well to aap restaurant mein nahi pee sakte ho पब्लिक प्लेसेस पे नहीं पी सकते 58 एट इंडिया से टू स्टार्ट सप्लाइंग डीजल टू विच कंट्री थ्रू ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप पाइपलाइन जापान नेपाल श्रीलंका बांग्लादेश ऑब्वियस ऑल आर दर नेबरिंग कंट्री ट्राई टू अटेम द क्वेश्चन आंसर अधिसोन जैन सी ऑप्शन श्रीलंका दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट आंसर और नॉट सो इंडिया बांग्लादेश फ्रेंडशिप पाइपलाइन सो बांग्लादेश राइट आंसर विल स्टार्ट सप्लाइंग डीजल टू बांग्लादेश ऑन एक्सपेरिमेंटल बेसिस ऑन फॉर जून दिस ईयर एंड अबाउट 131.5 किलोमीटर लॉन्ग पाइपलाइन हैज बीन कंस्ट्रक्टेड फॉर द इंपॉर्टेंट डीजल फ्रॉम इंडिया आउट ऑफ दिस वन फाइव किलोमीटर पाइपलाइन इज इन बांग्लादेश एंड फाइव किलोमीटर लाइन इन इंडिया और ये जो इंटरनेशनल पाइपलाइन है दैट विल कैरी डीजल फ्रॉम द सिलीगुड़ी बेस्ड मार्केटिंग टर्मिनल ऑफ नुमालीगढ़ रिफाइनरी लिमिटेड टू परबतीपुर डिपो ऑफ बांग्लादेश पेट्रोलियम कॉपोरेशन बी पी सी सो द आंसर क्या था हमारा बांग्लादेश विच इज द फर्स्ट कंट्री टू बाग द डेट इज री स्ट्रक्चर प्रोग्राम ऑफ श्रीलंका इंडिया पाकिस्तान चाइना ऑस्ट्रेलिया so india is the right answer india has sent financing assurance to the international monetary fund it thereby becomes the first of sri lanka's creditors to officially back the crisis hit island nation did reduce structure program don't worry galat ho gaya don't worry usse aisa sochna nahi hai but try to attempt the questions answer at least aap sikhoge ki ha bhai mere se sahi ho raha hai what is the name of indigenous mobile operating system developed by iit madras इंडिया का अपना एंड्रॉयड सिस्टम है वो कौन सा है आई एन डी ओ एस भार ओ एस मद्रा ओ एस मद्रास ओ एस तमिल ओ एस इंडिया का अपना मोबाइल ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम है सो विच वन वी कैन सी द आंसर थ्री क्वेश्चन आर लेफ्ट आदिशन जैन बी इज राइट आंसर या भार ओ एस बिकॉज ऑब्वियस भारत दैट गिव्स यू दोन काइंड ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन भार ओ एस बी इज द राइट आंसर सो द भार ओ एस इज एन एंड्रॉयड ओपन सोर्स प्रोजेक्ट पेस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम विच इज डेवलप्ड बाय जैन डी के ऑपरेशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड स्टार्टअप इज इनक्यूबेटेड एट आई टी मद्रास अनलाइक एंड्रॉयड इट डज नॉट हैव डिफॉल्ट गूगल एप्स और सर्विसेज एंड जो भार ओ एस है विच इज सर्विसेज आर करेंटली बींग प्रोवाइडेड टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हैव स्ट्रिंजेंट प्रिवेसी एंड सिक्योरिटी रिक्वायरमेंट्स मोमिंग टू दिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी थर्ड विच कंट्री इज प्रेसिडेंट इज द चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ रिपब्लिक डे इज सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज सीम्स टू सर विच न्यूज पेपर टू रीड एडिसन इधर यू कैन चूज टू द हिंदू और इंडियन एक्सप्रेस विच वर यू सीम्स टू बी इजी फॉर यू एंड द लैंग्वेज दैट हैज बीन यूज इन द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस दैट आई रिकमेंडेड टू यू कैन यूज इंडियन एक्सप्रेस This is seems to be very easy question. Chief Guest of Republic Day celebration of India. And this news paper analysis why it is important. Pure month ki news paper analysis we discuss in the session. Month me ek hi session hoti hai wali. So answer will be here Egypt. See the right answer. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah El Sisi arrived in New Delhi, and he will be the chief guest at 74th Republic Day Parade of India. This is the first time the President of Egypt has been invited as the chief guest on Republic Day. India and Egypt are celebrating 75 years of establishment of diplomatic relations this year. India also has also invited Egypt as a guest country. 
during G20 presidency. And here is 74. Second last questions of today. Newspapers, as jitne bhi questions to humne sare ask kare. And here is 64th, which Indian armed force is said to hold command level exercise named Pralai. Pralai means something negative connotation word saying ye. Pralai. Tabahi, Pralai seems like disasters and all. Indian Army, Navy, Indian Air Force, Coast, Indian Coast Guard. So try to attend the question's answer. I am waiting for your consent. Addison Jane B is the right answer. Indian Navy, let's see. Yeah, Indian Air Force is the right answer. So basically, C is the right answer. So, Indian Air Force will carry out exercise Pralai involving all its major air base in Northeast, including the recently moved drone squadrons in the Northeast amid the ongoing standoff with China. The Indian Air Force has deployed and activated as 400 air defense squadron in the area, which can take on an enemy aircraft and missile from distance of up to 400 km. This is the second such command level exercise carried out by an IAF in recent months. And now we reach to the last questions is here. Which city is host of G20 first environment and climate sustainability working group meeting? As our country is going to host G20, Chennai, Bangalore, Kolkata, Mumbai last questions of the day and very quick answer this and jane a chennai 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 is it correct bangalore is the right answer but g20 first environmental and climate sustainability working group meeting are set to be held in bangalore it will focus on the promotion of the blue economy along with the Coastal sustainability, restoration of degraded lands and ecosystems, enhancement of biodiversity and strengthening of a circular economy. And the delegates are scheduled to visit the Calcare Arbutrium and Bangarta Biological Park in Bangalore. So this is all about the session, dear student. And if you are new in this channel, please subscribe the channel. And thank you so much for watching. And you can watch this video after the session as well. And do not forget to press the bell icon if you are new in this channel. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section here. I am waiting for 10 20 seconds. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed our session a lot. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section as well. And I request to you that please share this video to the maximum number of students and one more thing that we can say that if you have any if once you are watching this video after the session that we can see now so try to attempt yourself to what would be the right answer if you are able to solve find it out whether you are giving the right answer or not right and if you have any questions regarding the session let me know in the comment section as well so we'll meet you tomorrow at the news of analysis my name was my name is ashish bhargav so we'll meet you tomorrow at the sharp 11.30 a.m. of the live session of daily newspaper analysis. I hope you enjoyed the session a lot and we'll meet you tomorrow at 11.30. Till then, bye-bye and take care. Apna khyal rakhe. Sir, do current affairs uh, come in IPM? Yeah, it comes in the IPM. So we'll meet you tomorrow at the same time, 11.30 a.m. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye and take care. Good night everyone, we'll meet you tomorrow. Thank you for joining with us.